What's up guys, I'm Sanjay C for ADSR. Massive X is a brand new synth by Native Instruments. This is Native Instruments newest flagship synth. In this video, I'll show you around the interface, check out some of the features, try some presets, and experiment along the way. Before we begin, you're probably familiar with Native Instruments' original Massive Synth. Massive X is an additional new instrument in the Native Instruments synth lineup. It doesn't replace the original Massive, but you will recognize a few concepts between the two. Let's get started. All right, let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna load a brand new project with Massive X. Before we get started, the interface is brand new. It's completely different from the original Massive and it's resizable, check it out. Also, if you do see something with an underline on it, that means there's a drop-down menu there. So you can click that and then you have drop-down menus. Let's try out a few presets just for fun. All right, so now we got Massive X loaded up with its default sound. I'm gonna add just a little reverb and some delay just to save our ears a little bit. Before I get to the oscillators, on the left side, we've got your universal pitch setting. So here you can set the pitch and also the glide and the glide time. Now, right in the middle, we've got two wavetable oscillators. Right now we just have oscillator one turned up. Let's turn up oscillator two so we can hear that. Just going through the wavetables gives you a real sense of the sonic capabilities of Massive X. Let's try a few. Now, one of the main highlights of Massive X are the wavetable modes. And you see those to the left and the right of oscillator one and two. So the default mode is standard, which is same as Spectrum in the original Massive. For each wavetable mode, you have submodes underneath them as well. So bend mode shapes the readout curve of the wavetable. You've got mirror mode, which reads the wavetable backwards. Gorilla makes things very aggressive. Back in standard mode, underneath these two oscillators, you have two phase modulation oscillators with their own wavetables. If you're wondering if you can load your own wavetables into Massive X, the answer is no, at least for now. Who knows what Native Instruments has in store for the future. From what I hear, Massive X is something that they will continue to build over the long term. So we might see other features and maybe even loading your own wavetables in the future. All right, let's move on to the noise section. You'll see me moving around some routing down here. Here's the noise and I'm gonna connect this to the output as well so we can hear that. I'll bring down oscillator one and let's just hear this white noise. Now with the oscillator one, And you've got tons of different types of noise in here. You've got your normal static pink, white, red noise. But you've also got these environmental noises like bubbles. Massive X comes with eight filters and we'll route this in.
Mass Effects also has a dual filter. Let's try this. I really like the sound of this. Wow. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. You can already hear how nice this sounds with this dual filter on it. All right, so those are the filters. In the next section, we have filter effects. Let's just listen to what phase modulation sounds like. You'll see as I'm adding effects, I can choose how I want to route them. Let's send this to phase modulation. Let's try the frequency shifter. In the last section here, you've got your effects. I've actually got uh, reverb and delay already in here, but you have a bunch of other really cool effects. And we've done all of this without even exploring the bottom section of Mass Effects. First, since I have routing open, you saw how easy it was for me to actually route the signal. It's as easy as double clicking to take off a routing, and then anything that has an output, you can route to anything with an input. All right, but let's get to the fun stuff. The envelope and LFO sections are also brand new, but the routing kind of looks familiar compared to the original Massive. So in this first section, we've got two envelopes and a switcher LFO. You can also change this to an envelope here as well. This first one can't be changed. This is the amp envelope, but the other two, you can change them to whatever you like and then route them. Let's connect this switcher LFO to filter we have here. Now on your amp envelope, you can also adjust the attack, your decay. Right now you see the graphical display at the bottom, which isn't really changing as I'm making these adjustments. Uh, this is something again that I've heard will be in an upcoming release of Massive X. Now I already routed the switcher LFO to the filter, but I'm gonna route it also to the wavetable morphing. And let's see what that does. <laughs> Let's try another LFO. This time I'm gonna choose a random LFO and I'm gonna connect this over to morph the second oscillator wavetable. You'll see right now the rate is set to free, but we can also sync it. And right now it's using 16th notes, but we can bring it down to a quarter note. Over on the right, this T1, T2, T3, T4, those are trackers and they allow you to take in MIDI information like velocity and then be able to modify things. Let's have this modify the cutoff as well. And finally, all the way to the right, we have something called voice randomization. You can connect this to something like pitch on your first oscillator, and this gives just kind of a natural randomization, a subtle variation to your sound. All right, at the top, you see these 16 knobs. These are macro controls. These are also very easy to assign. So not right now, I've got the first macro control assigned to cutoff. So far, I've just been playing around with this pad sound that we created as I'm exploring, but I've also created a beat with Massive X sound. So let's explore some of those presets and let's make some changes to them as the beat loops. Got a simple beat. And let's check out one of the pad presets. Now I haven't talked about this section right here. These are the performer modes. So you can create different shapes here. Let's create one. I'm gonna keep this repeating to filter cutoff. Let's see what this sounds like now.
created a little bell sound. Again with another preset. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make the music you love, my friends. I'm Sanjay C for ADSR.